Hey guys, my name is Ira Beidou. Welcome back to my channel. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I'd like you to do that. And if you have, thanks a lot. Today, we're going to be doing a DIY on this top. We'll be turning it into this two-piece. This two-piece, some of it is everything. So if you're ready, let's just get into this video. First, you need an elastic band, a tailor's chalk. I'm using my yellow tailor's chalk. You're going to need a scissors, you're going to need some pins, some measuring tape and of course the top that you're going to be changing into that two piece. So first of all, I'm going to grab my chalk, that's the chalk I'm showing to you, then I'll mark where I want my, the length of my top to reach. So that is where I decided to leave the mark. So when you're done with that, you're going to take the top off and make a straight line so that you'll be able to cut the length straight and you don't want to get any mistakes. So you're just going to make that straight line with either a ruler or you can use your tape measure just like I did and go ahead and cut that part off with your scissors. So with that aside, we're going to work on the top first. With the top I'm making, it's going to be... Um, a sleeveless top. I'm not going to need any sleeve. So over here you can see me cutting both the left and right sleeves of the top off. I measured how long I wanted the top to be off camera. So then when I got the measurement right, I decided to go in and make a straight line and get the measurement straight on the top. Then go in to cut. Making this top was so easy and so much fun. So when I got the, the length straight, I mean, when I got the length right, I decided to go in and cut that part that I wouldn't need. We'll be using some of the excess parts later, but for now, our main focus is going to be on these, on these two rectangles that you see right now. Over here, I also measured how tight I wanted the top to be so you can see me cutting some excess fabric off because that's going to that's going to be just too much for me so right now I'm labeling the tops that's going to be the inner part so I don't forget or I don't get confused when I'm sewing then again there's the button part over there and I really did not need it so I'm going to go ahead and cut that part over. that part away so right now, as you can see, we have three fabrics cut and I'm going to pin them together with the pin to see, just like you see in the video. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to pin all the sides together so that when I get to my machine and I'm sewing, it's going to be very easy and simple for me to go ahead and sew. So over here, I'm pinning all the sides down because I want this outfit to come out looking like a professional. Like, I want it to be so good. Like, I want everybody to think, oh, wow, maybe she got this off pretty little thing. Maybe she got this off, you know what, wherever. But then that's what I did. So now to the sewing part, you're just going to pin this. So this fabric is a little bit folded. So I'm going to open that up and pin them down. But before you start sewing, make sure that you backstitch. Don't ever forget to backstitch, guys, and continue sewing. But then, as you can see from the video, I'm leaving a little space. Like, I'm just leaving a little space in there and sewing. Don't forget to backstitch when you start and when you end, guys. This is so important. Like, I can't even stress it enough. So with the space that I'm leaving while sewing this, we're going to put some so we're going to put some ropes in there. We're going to make some rope with the excess fabric that we left and make some rope with it so that we can have a really nice, cute, sexy top, okay? I hope you understand. The rope I was talking about, we're going to make the rope now. With the excess fabric left, we're just going to cut about an inch from 
from the excess fabric to make a very long rope i decided to go with a long rope because the longer the rope the better that's what i say because if it's the short rope you're going to be disadvantaged so why don't you make it long and be at an advantage you understand when it's long is when you find out that it's too long you can always cut it off or reduce the length to however you want it to be so over here i'm just pinning these ropes together so that i will sew them down together i had so much fun doing this like i hope you guys understand how i'm going by this it shouldn't be difficult to understand at all so with the rope done we're going to go back to the second half the other half of the the top of the shirt that we cut off and that is going to be our skirt over here you can see me measuring the the length of my waist so after measuring the length of my waist i cut the elastic band just like you saw before i'm going to fold the top down and pin them down just so that i can sew them and after that i'll put the elastic band in there I hope you guys understand i'm just pinning them down so while you pin down make sure you're leaving some allowance for your elastic band and also when it gets to the sewing part you're going to make sure that you don't leave you don't sew all the way through because you're going to leave a little part where you're going to insert the band so over here i'm just sewing the rope together the little pieces that i cut i'm sewing them together to make the rope for our top the rope for our top if you're able to try this video just let me know and if you have any questions at all just let me know in the comment section and you know me i'm your girl i'll deliver for the sewing i decided to go with a straight stitch over here and don't forget to leave some space guys that's where you're going to put your elastic band so like you can see over here we're going to put the elastic band through that hole and we'll be done so over here i'm just cutting the excess fabrics because honestly and truly we don't need them so back to our top remember the space that we left yeah we're going to push the rope through those spaces now just to finish our top isn't this just so simple and easy to make like it's so simple guys I really want you guys to try this sometime at home. You can even do this without a machine. You can simply just use your hand to sew them down. Like it's not it's not difficult at all. So when you try this, let me know, okay? And let's get interactive with this, okay? Over here you can see after pushing the rope through the top, this is my toe. Like it it's just coming out so well. Like you know me. You know your girl, she's gonna deliver. So with my bund, I'm just going to hook it up with some safety pin and push it through the hole that I left. That's basically the skirt. Like the skirt is so simple. The skirt was just simple to make. So right now we're just pulling the elastic band through the space that we left so that it can fit our waist perfectly we don't want any loose skirts out here we don't want our bums out there we don't want anything so we're just doing that now when the elastic band comes out we're going to sew that and get this, this beautiful outfit thanks a lot for watching this video don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel see you next time bye